What's up sports fans? I'm Christina Kaplan with HTV and today I'm here with Nate Zemiak of the men's volleyball team. You're about to play in your last few matches of your career here at UH. How do you feel? Uh, well, I'm trying not to think about that yet. Uh, we still have a couple home matches or a few and then hopefully the playoffs. So, you know, uh, I'm trying to focus on that and then once the season is over, then I'll, I'll have time to be sad. You grew up in Sylvania. What has been the biggest transition coming here to Hawaii? Uh, I think the biggest difference was the, just the culture and, you know, like a different language and the things I'm used to are not being not being here. So just that transition. Uh, but then uh, I had a great teammates who made it easier for me. So that was uh, that, that made it a lot easier. How much have you grown since being here in Hawaii? Uh, I don't know. I think according to the, to the training room, only an inch. But uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's, I guess we're still growing, so I don't know, it's hard to estimate for me. I think that's more of a question for my teammates and coaches. Uh, they'll, I think they'll be better suited for it. You're one of the top setters in the nation right now. Uh, are you, how do you feel about what you've accomplished here at UH? Uh, first, thank you. Uh, and uh, I think, I, f I feel good about like what we're doing. Uh, but uh, for me, the most important thing is that we win and that we win a championship. So, you know, uh, it doesn't matter if I finish first or last in the setters ranking or uh, whatever rankings that is. Uh, I just want us to win. And that's going to be the biggest accomplishment we can do here. You've switched positions on the court a few times, starting at setter, going to outside hitter, and then back to setter. Do you think your experience playing outside hitter has helped with your setting? Uh, maybe a little bit, you know, it's always uh, nice to see the, the other end of the world. Uh, so for me, you know, like I was always the one giving sets, never actually receiving sets. So it was a nice change, but uh, more so I think it was just like something that uh, the coaches asked me the time to do it and it's not something I feel really comfortable with or that I thought I was good at. But uh, uh, so, uh, but I think maybe it was a little, a little change up that was nice. You have experience playing beach volleyball prior to UH. Is that something that you're going to be doing in the future? Uh, hopefully at least every summer. Uh, it's, it's always hard, you know, it's hard to decide for one because uh, that limits the options for the other one. So I'm kind of trying to combine both a little bit of indoor and a little bit of beach volleyball. And I think beach volleyball was also one of the big factors that made me want to come to Hawaii, you know, just Hawaii is known for its uh, summer and paradise and uh, you know I always thought that I'll be able to play a lot of beach volleyball here and so far it's been pretty true so. Um, is volleyball in general going to be in your future indoor or beach uh, as competitive volleyball? That's what I'm hoping for but you know uh, I mean we're in NC2A we're amateur sports so I'm not allowed to look for anything yet but uh, you know if I if there's an opportunity that presents itself for next year for me to play competitive uh, either indoor or beach volleyball I'll I'll make sure to grab onto it. If not, then I'll just be uh, trying to follow my educational path and you know, try to find a real job and that's going to be my future. You've graduated and are currently working on your master's degree. What are your goals after college? Uh, well, like I said, I would still like to play some more volleyball. So if I have the opportunity to play some more ball, I will definitely uh, grab that opportunity. And if not, then you know uh, I'm working on a master's in human resources. So I'll uh, I'll try to look for a job in that field because uh, I, I think it's very interesting. That's why I chose it, obviously, and you know that's why I would like to be in that field. What has been your most enjoyable moment at UH so far? Uh, I don't know, there's been a lot, a lot of great moments uh, and I don't want to single one out yet because, you know, I still have big hopes for this year. So I, I'm going to say hopefully the most enjoyable moment is still to come. So, and I'll leave it at that. Well, that's all for H-Files. Thanks for being here, Nate, and good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you.